The world of GTA Vice City is thriving and incredibly vibrant as well, but also odd and unusual. So join me on this journey as we take a look at some of the odd and unusual places in GTA Vice City. Alrighty, roll the tape. Alright, odd and unusual places in Grand Theft Auto Vice City. The first location we're at is in the Vassetti Mansion. The Vassetti Estate, I believe is what it's called, on Starfish Island, right here in the middle of the map there. And it's not necessarily the entire mansion, although it is odd and unusual. Uh, the, the place that we're focusing on is behind this staircase. This seems very odd and unusual, very liminal, if you ask me. If it was a bit darker, it would be borderline spooky. Because, like, what is, what is the point? What is the structural layout of this, of this section right here, right? There's, like, lights right there that almost look like candles. There's all this unused space right here, and it's... It's literally nothing like this is not meant to be a home, man. This is like this hallway just feels weird, which is the whole point of odd and unusual places in video games is it just feels odd. Why they have the red carpet here, I'm not sure. Why they only have one side table and a lamp that barely lights up a wall, I'm not sure. You know, I just don't understand this section. It just feels so weird. Like if you go in the rooms over here, this is well decorated and well filled. Man, there's a dead tiger on the floor over there. But you come over here and it's just bare. Just gives me the heebie-jeebies. Before it gets even more weird, let's move on to the next odd and unusual place. In Vice City. Alrighty, folks, we are here at our second location for odd and unusual places. We are in downtown Vice City, right here, right at the save icon, right here. And if you know what the save icon is, you know exactly where I'm going. It is this weird shack on top of this roof. And there, it is a purchasable property with a save icon, but I'm not sure what it's meant to be. Is it meant to be a house? A burned down house? A, a piece of office? I guess it does fit the rusted tin that's on the side of this building that only lasts on this wall because the rest of it just looks like a respectable office. But for some reason, there's just a random shanty shack on this roof. And like I said, it looks like it caught on fire and it's been completely trashed. And I got to tell you, it just looks spooky in here. Like, why is it here? Who lived here? Is this where like homeless people come and hang out? And why is it? Why are you able to buy it? And why is it on a roof? And why are there stairs leading up to it? There's just so many questions and so little answers. How much even is this? It, 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 this isn't even worth the, the scrapped tin that's used to construct it. It just feels so odd and unusual. Before we get haunted by the ghost that once lived here, let's move on to the next area. Alrighty, folks, and our next odd and unusual place. We are sticking in downtown Vice City, right next to the stadium. We are right here at the map. And this place is so odd. I don't understand what the point of this big area is. And why is there, like, an entrance to it? And why are there so many people just, like, bumming around back here? You know, like, this guy is not homeless. 
Like that jacket, the blue Michael Jackson thriller jacket, and the Michael Jackson shoes without the socks, that's an expensive outfit. And this lady, look at her. She's dressed to the nines, man. It's not like this is a shipping area. There's no, there's no shipping happening. There's just giant, like, AC units behind an office building. And this isn't a park because there's no grass. It's just, like, odd. It seems to me like this is probably, like, leftover from development of the map that they just never got rid of, you know? And the AI is just, like, wandering in this big, empty, concrete tomb. They're just hanging around here. It's, it's, it's kind of like hanging out in, like, a high school parking lot. We're not sure why, but we all did it. And, like, where is this lady going? Let's just follow this lady for a second. Yo, you know where I am? No, ma'am, I don't know where you are. What do you mean? That's why I'm, I'm, that's why I'm following you. And then this guy's running for the cops, you know, and where is he going? There's a wall there. Where is he going to go? He just ran right into the wall. Oh, there he goes. Oh, now, now he stopped. Okay. Am I, wh whoa, hang on. Oh, this police brutality. Dude, what the fuck? They're fighting back. Let's get in the middle of this. Let's get in the middle of this. Hang on. There's some action going on. Oh, my good lord. Oh, he killed him. I just witnessed a murder. I got to get the fuck out of here. Let's go to the next odd and unusual place in Vice City. All righty. And for our next odd and unusual place, we are just north of the military base on the east uh, or the west side of the map right up here. And we are discussing the odd angles in the grass right here. I mean, like. I understand the graphics were limited, but there's some hills on other parts of the map. You know, the, the grass right in front of me isn't completely flat. You know what I'm saying? Well, maybe that part is, but it's, it's like they just put the two pieces of graphic together and just connected it. You know, it's just like an odd place to be. Oh, no! Oh, what the hell? What the hell? What the, what the hell just happened? Good lord. That place was so odd and unusual that it glitched me and then I got murdered. Oh my god. Before any other weird stuff happens, let's go to the next odd and unusual place. Folks, we are here. At the next odd and unusual place. This should look familiar. We are at the airport on the west side of the map in Vice City. Right in this uh, big terminal building. And this hallway to the plane is just very spooky. You ever been to an airport before? Those hallways, I feel like they're nicer than this. This just looks like concrete walls and like puke green floors. And then in here, you can't even get past this this fence right here. It just just feels so weird in here. And you got some nice colorful billboards right there welcoming welcoming you to Vice City, which is fantastic. But other than that, it's just devoid of any life. You know, like what are all these people walking to? The gate is closed. There's not even a plane out there. That guy just turned around and walked away. Let's see what these people are doing. What are you doing? Can I just ask what you're doing in here, ma'am? Minus the trash can, there's literally no other evidence that people have even been here. What does this sign say? It is forbid forbidden to smoke in these premises. I don't even think anyone's ever been here before. There's not even like a, you know, a guy collecting tickets. I can't get past this gate. You know what I'm saying? It's just weird. Like, why can't I get over there? I, I need to get over there. Yeah, this is just one of those, like obscure locations in Vice City that I don't know if a lot of people have walked down this hallway to explore what was over here. There could have been, they had so many opportunities to hide like a fun little Easter egg, like, you know, heading to San Andreas because that was the next game or something. But yeah, this place just gives me the creeps. Just seems so pointless. Turn around, people. 
I know how to make them turn around. Never mind. I don't have a gun. All right, people, turn around. Get out of here. Oh, God, he's chasing me. He's chasing me. I'm out of here. On to the next odd and unusual. What the hell? Did you see that jump? On to the next odd and unusual place in Vice City for the final time. And the final odd and unusual place is... Minus the gangs. Hang on. Let me take care of these fucking guys. Is the Romero Funeral Home located in Little Haiti. Right here. Right where I'm standing right now. You won't be Reeve our prices. <laughs> we really dig graves. That's hilarious. That's obviously, I think at least, a reference to George Romero. The dead center of Vice City. Very cool. Very cool. Uh, you know, we have some... This isn't what I'm going to show you anyhow, but I'm just going to show you this as a... As a uh, a bonus here, we got some very creepy uh, like headstones there. We got a creepy picture of like Bella Lugosi over there. Obviously, a funeral home. You can see the couches and all that fun stuff. Um, before I get into the actual location, you can go over here to the Romero Deli, right? And you can go over here and see human brains, man. And look, you can even see an arm and a hand right there. That's just absolutely silly. This is obviously uh, dead, uh, dead people. I'm getting shot again. Oh, good God. All right, and to quickly go into the place that I'm meant to show you is if you come over here, hang on, ignore these people, go down this hallway right here, you're going to be in this little area right here. Hang on, I'm still getting shot at. Just hang on a second. And in this little area behind all these buildings that the gangs are shooting me at. Apparently their bullets are going through the wall, which is very odd. Actually, that's got to be a glitch. Over here, we have some actual graves behind the funeral parlor. Legit graves. This has got to be the most odd and unusual place in all of Vice City. And if you look at the skeleton, this open skeleton, right? What is the skeleton missing? If you said an an, uh, an arm and a hand, you'd be correct because you know where that arm and the hand is? It's over there in the deli. These people are harvesting humans to fuel their business. Listen, they're killing people to keep their funeral business alive. And with their bodies, they're using it to sell the meat to keep their deli alive. These people ought to be investigated. These people are, 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 they're beyond criminals. They're monsters. Good Lord, they killed me. Do you know what they're going to do to my body? That's right. They're going to, they're going to harvest my body for their funeral home and then take my meat and put it in the deli. Do not go to that deli because you will be eating me, man. Folks, if you know of any odd and unusual places in Vice City or in any game in general, let me know in the comments below. I'd love to do an episode on it. Follow me on Twitch, twitch.tv slash official Joey C. Follow me on Patreon, patreon.com slash official Joey C. Or you could become a channel member and you get all the same perks of Patreon. So folks, with that, I leave you with one last thing. Thanks for watching. I greatly appreciate it. Keep your eye out for the next video, episode, movie. Whatever it is, man, listen. Cherish the precious moments. Be love. And stay dude. I'm out of here, folks. See you later.